morning. It's Sunday. And this is just out. Um, I posted just a picture of a latte um, that I was making myself this morning on Facebook. And everybody's like, recipe, recipe. Guys, you don't need a lot of ingredients to make a pumpkin spice latte. I'm sure most of you, let me get my little thing here straight. Most of y'all have some sort of, you know, favorite sugar-free syrup. I've got a couple. Let me grab one real quick. Um, I'll grab two. So here's how I do it. So this is all you need. Your favorite sugar-free whatever. This one is um, butterscotch caramel, which makes a great latte. This one I got at uh, TJ Maxx. It was $3.99. It is maple bourbon. Okay, this is the one I'm digging on a lot, so I'm going to use it. And this is all I do, okay? I have my handy-dandy coffee pot right here. I'm going to bring you all up closer on it, okay? So mine has a built-in frother. That's why I'm standing over here against the wall. No. <laughs> and I just make up I either have caramel flavored coffee or vanilla flavored coffee. Uh, right now I've got, I think in this one, it is Starbucks ground caramel. And then um, I also have a bag of the community French vanilla. This is what I made this morning. Either is great. You can just use plain coffee as well, but you might need a, a kicker, a little extra. Good morning, Miss Linda. So this is all I do. And it is so easy. So start with your um, cream and your um, syrup before you pour your coffee, okay? Um, I seriously suggest that you get some sort of milk frother because it does make it much easier. Ooh, good morning. Good morning, Laura and Stella. Good morning in Wyoming. Are y'all enjoying the cooler weather up north? Ugh, it's beautiful here, so I can only imagine that. So what I like to do, you guys... These are my extra ingredients. I got some heavy cream, pumpkin spice. This is all you need. You don't need pumpkin spice coffee. You don't need pumpkin spice syrup or any of that because it makes it taste weird and artificial. So this is what I do. I take a little heavy cream and I just give a dollop because this is this cup holds like 16 ounces, 20 ounces. And I give probably a couple of tablespoons of that. Then I... I'll do this one because it's pump wise and I can kind of measure it. Measure it. One, two pumps of that. That is the caramel, sugar free caramel butterscotch. Then I add my coffee, which I've been steadily getting it. Pour it in there and leave plenty of room for frothing. So this is only about two thirds full. Okay. And then. I take my pumpkin spice. I want you to all see that right there. I'll show you over at the top. I'm gonna pull you off of there real quick. And I just give a dollop. That's it. Now, let me pull you off of here real quick or turn you around. Let me see if I can do a flippy thing for you guys. Good morning, good morning. Here, I'll do it this way so that I can control what you're seeing. Okay, we're gonna get you right on down there get flip okay so there is my frother <clears throat> and let me see if I can go even further down like that there we go and now you can see the top of my coffee and I just do the top when you want the foamy part and then go down to make sure that it mixes really well I have to pull this off so it doesn't drip all over my floor set it over here and voila look how foamy it's frothy it's delicious let me pull you guys back up this way there we go oops dang it and that's all there is to it that's it that's all it's so good the pumpkin flavor is right there because of the seasoning it's just the spices that bring that spiciness to it I mean you could probably find uh, a better flavor coffee I don't know these are the ones I can get there's no other ones available if you want to guys if you're doing a fatty coffee add a, a tablespoon of butter to this 
along with your heavy cream. It makes it even richer, even more decadent, even more delicious. If you want to get super fancy, top it with some whipped cream, drizzle some sugar-free syrup. But for me, this is just right. It's frothy, it's foamy, it's delicious. And with it being October, I, I don't normally have two in one morning, but I will make the exception just for you. <laughs> Uh, Linda said, I made me a double shot Americana with cinnamon and heavy cream this morning. There you go. It's the, it is the season, isn't it, y'all? Uh, woke up to 44 degrees here in Indiana. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, Candy from Tennessee. Good morning, good morning. Aw, thanks, Sarah. Yeah, I love my, I love my Ray Dunn mugs. Oh, they're so great. Hey, Laura. Surprising us again. Yes, I am. I wasn't going to. As you can see, I got my whole ponytail going. I got no makeup on. I got my jeans on. Um, yesterday, um, I went to Canton and did the whole walkabout thing, you know, and it was a, a long day. Got a lot of steps in this morning. I've got vacuuming, which I got done, but I got housework to do, y'all, and I'm going to go out to my shed. I'm going to start pulling all my Halloween stuff that I can gather here and start incorporating it into my fall. I like to do my fall and Halloween mixture, so. And what, what, but what are, blah, 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 blah. rewind, what better way to do that than to start my day off with a pumpkin latte? Mm. You could even add real pumpkin if you wanted to, if you want to just get fancy, but that's the basic recipe. So you guys have a blessed Sunday. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Be on the lookout because I'm going to do a pop in when the time allows tomorrow. I'm launching two new keto bars. I'm going to give you my product review on taste, flavor, and all that good stuff. Uh, it's pumpkin spice bars. It is peanut butter chocolate chip bars. But rather than just do the review, you guys, I'm going to make a couple of recipes with them. So make sure you're tuned in. Have a wonderful Sunday. Remember, fats first, moderate protein, low carb. Get you some. Enjoy those lattes. Have a good one. Uh, there we go.